Lord Byron called Venice a fairy city of the heart. Cars are banned, and the streets are made of water. It's a city where getting lost is an art form, where the fantastic seems almost commonplace. Around every corner is magic. A city of great promise, slowly sinking into the marshes a century at a time. Venice is alive, a singular city that looks as though it sprang straight out of the imagination. Yet Venice is remarkably real, and it has played host to travelers and traders for over 1,500 years. Venice is a city for walking. That's the way the locals do it, and for good reason. The city center is small and designed for walking. A good pair of shoes and packing lightly will pay off by rewarding you with an opportunity to see Venice at street level. There is much to see and do that is free in Venice. St. Mark's Square and St. Mark's Basilica are on everyone's list, as is the Doge's Palace. The Rialto Bridge is often mobbed by tourists, but it is still an impressive sight. But there is also the day-to-day -day life of the city that can be fascinating to watch, and some of the best opportunities for memories will be found simply wandering the streets off of the beaten path and discovering some of Venice's quieter, more hidden, and lesser-known sites for yourself. Do so, and you may find the true and gloriously decaying soul of the serene city of Venice.